uh, Fox, if Africa has such great resources, so valuable, why can't they use it to develop, use them to build products their, their own? Uh, you should realize that your argument make oh, dude no you got to take it into consideration here i'll give you one example this is why here, here's one example extrapolate this out to countless decades was it in tanzania kenya i believe it was in kenya or was it sudan it was in sudan it was in sudan look sudan's proxy war in the 1990s 1998 clinton okay the united states and we corrected this i think it was an indian sea or arabian sea or something like this in 1998 i believe under the orders of bill clinton the united states sent a missile to afghanistan and killed a shitload of innocent people okay along with who knows some fighters and they also sent a missile to sudan i believe it was sudan and there was a pharmaceutical company chemical company in sudan that was providing east africa like east africa multiple countries with medicine with pharmaceuticals with um what do you call it fertilizers chemicals it was the only major chemical factory in this part of africa and they blew the fuck out of it okay they blew it up africans built it the americans blew it up what was the result? Well, decades later, years later, animals died, people died because they couldn't get their medicine, crops failed because they couldn't get their fertilizers. Your whole idea that Africa has lots of resources and stuff like this, how come they can't grow their own food? Because these motherfuckers here, the World Economic Forum, the royalty, and the globalists don't allow Africa to rise. That's the whole fucking point of Africa to the Europeans and the globalists, right? What, what part of Libya what, was the country with the highest standard of living in all of Africa? Libya had a higher standard of living than most countries in the world. And the United States, France, Italy, and the UK shh, fucking destroyed it for fuck's sakes. What are you talking about? Fucking the low iq level of people is through the fucking roof this shit pisses me off a little bit fuck sakes you know how many million people have been sacrificed in africa to feed fucking these colonial motherfuckers are you defending this bullshit fuck off clowns clowns fucking i swear man <laughs> real xenomorph us is eagle of freedom makes wonders indeed panic how you doing oh my god africa must be subjugated by the world economic forum indeed indeed chewy i love it when people who look like they don't cause swear like a sailor <laughs> i try to keep it chill All right chewy ronnie damn never seen chicho this man uh, you know what pisses me off man is low iq club 70 people fucking thinking they know how the world works because they read a statistic on a fucking centralized government's website and they regurgitate that shit africa doesn't send any food to europe because they import 50 million fucking whatever of grains Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> it's, it's as simple as that. One statistic, right? I provided a link to my article on Africa. Look at the statistic that I dragged up. Okay, there it is. In 2013. We're in 2023. And we've got fucking low IQ people coming here and saying, Africa doesn't send anything to Europe. Europe is food dependent. While just in Holland alone, Netherlands, they're shutting down a thousand farms or three thousand farms or some shit like this. World Economic Forum and their fucking puppets have come out and said, you're going to own nothing and you're going to be happy. They've come out and said, you're going to have to stop eating meat 
and start eating bugs. Well, here's my message to those clowns. World Economic Forum, fuck you. I'm going to eat meat to my heart's content and you can eat your fucking bugs and feed it to your, your little clowns that believe your bullshit. Meat is good for you, gang. It makes you stronger. Power up. Because you're going to need it. Power up. As the saying goes, good times make for weak men. Weak men make for hard times. Hard times build strong men.